Tele viewers, especially kids and parents, welcome to Ag Amazing TV. I am Sir Jesse Guzman and I will be your teacher in Science 5. Are you ready to explore the enchanting world of science? Now, let's go! Each material has their own characteristics which tells their properties. You can classify them based on their shared qualities and properties like texture, color, and hardness. These properties may be observed directly and indirectly. Let us observe these examples. What characteristics do they share in common? You are right. They are ceramics. They are hard, rigid, waterproof, and resistant to heat. Let us observe these examples. What characteristics do they share in common? Very good. They are stainless steel. They are not easily deformed, but they are sharp objects. Let us observe these examples. What characteristics do they share in common? You are right. They are plastics. They are durable but can easily deform. What do you mean by durable? Durability is the ability of the material to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. Let us observe these examples. What characteristics shared in common? Amazing! They are copper wires. These materials are good conductors of electricity. The electric conductivity is the ability of metals to conduct heat and electricity. Let us observe these examples. What characteristics do they share in common? You are right. They are elastic. Elasticity means to return to its original size and shape after the force is removed. Let us observe these examples. What characteristics do they share in common? You are right. They are metals. They are malleable. It means they can be hammered and formed into sheets, which can be used in other things. Let us observe these examples. What characteristics do they share in common? They are aluminum. They are good thermal conductor, does not rust, and has a light weight. How will you know if these materials are useful and harmful? Useful materials. The usefulness of a certain material depends on its properties. These materials are durable and can be used many times. Take a look at these examples. The old plastic bottles can be recycled. The old cardboards can be recycled into a picture frames. 
Harmful materials The harmfulness of a certain material may also bring hazards. Take a look at these examples. Broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic materials like paints, cleaners, and powders are bad to our health and environment. Too much intake of medicines, soft drinks, processed foods, ice cream are harmful to our health. Let us have a simple activity. Direction. Decide whether each action in the picture above is helpful or harmful. Write useful or harmful. I will give you 5 seconds to answer. For number 1, recycling plastic bottles. The correct answer, useful, very good. For number two, dumping chemicals into rivers. The correct answer, harmful, very good. Number three, Leaving trash on the beach. The correct answer, harmful, very good. Number four, planting trees. The correct answer, Useful. Very good. And for number five, taking long showers. The correct answer, harmful. Very good. How many of you were able to get an amazing score? That ends my discussion. I hope that you will learn something today. Again, this is Sir Jessica's man saying, be an explorer, be a discoverer, be an agamazing you. This is Agamazing TV.